if you haven't learned how to ollie yet, click here. Now, before you learn the 180, we highly recommend learning how to properly revert. If you already know how to revert, check the description to skip to the 180. There are two important aspects of reverting that carry over to 180s. The first is winding up your body to gain enough momentum to make the full rotation, and the second is becoming comfortable rolling away in a switch stance. The starting foot placement for the revert should be on the bolts for both feet with your back foot a little closer to the tail. To get a better grip for the motion of the revert, move the heel of your back foot further off the edge of the board. Once you feel comfortable in that stance, lean over your front foot while winding up, then release, while digging your back foot into the board in the same direction. This motion should be enough to swing your board into the revert. Now that you know how to revert, let's move on to the 180. The foot placement for the front side 180 is basically the same as the ollie. Your front foot is behind the bolts, and your back foot is on the tail where you can get enough pop. Now, you're going to combine the twisting motion of the revert with your ollie. Wind up your body like that of the revert, while bending your knees getting ready to pop. Make sure to pop just before you leave the ground from the jump. As your upper body makes the rotation, your lower body should naturally follow. A point of focus on the 180 is keeping the board beneath you at all times. If you're having trouble balancing or getting the full rotation, try going through the motion off of the board. Now that you know the basic steps, combine the skills used to ollie and revert to form the front side 180. Click here for the next video once it's released. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more. Hopefully this helped, but if you have any questions, comments, or recommendations, please submit them below. Stay tuned and we'll see you soon.